good morning and thank you for joining us for the session I'm Bhuvana and today we we talking about the immunity canvas scatter plus exploitation pack product overview okay what can you expect from the presentation there are three things first one is solution overview we are talking about the product what is the immunity canvas scatter plus exploitation pack and their features and second thing is product overview their functionality and requirements and there are new updates finally we have a open discussion and also some clarification before I end this presentation okay before I going to start I just go through the background about the immunity canvas the immunity canvas uh, is one of the world leading pen testing tool. The commercial software well no begin uh, offensive in nature cross platform adopted while by pen testers to conduct exploitation testing as usual with a extensive range of the canvas exploitation pack add on um, to platform industry or project scope specific pen testing and also while I talk by the vulnerability and export research for export development and testing and also SCADA is uh, one of the such of add-on third-party product what is SCADA plus exploitation pack SCADA exploitation pack is uh, it's an attempt to collect all publicly available SCADA vulnerability in one export pack and also SCADA and Relate vulnerabilities are very special because due to the they are sensitive nature and possible hack impact involved to successful exploitation and also SCADA system are also hard to punch so even all vulnerabilities are actual what is SCADA? SCADA means supervisory control and data accurization uh, it's a system uh, or software mm, and also it's a type of the uh, um, I dimension the software application program for process control SCADA is a central control system with a consists of controller network interfaces input output and communication equipment and also software SCADA system are using to monitor and control the equipment in the industrial process which includes manufacturing production development and fiber creation okay there are the some alignments that allow industry organization to allow uh, to control industrial processes locally and or at remote locations to monitor gather and process real-time data and also directly inter interact with the device such a sensor valves, pumps motor and more thoughts human mission interface which is the HMI software and finally records events in into a log file the continuous slide about the architecture of SCADA okay there are two types of architecture one is is hardware architecture and another is software architecture and generally the SCADA system is a centralized system that monitor and control the entire area area it's a pure software package that is a position positioned on top of the hardware so a super system gather data on the process and send them comments control to the process the SCADA uh, is a remote terminal which uh, is also the known as RTU the most control action are automatic automatically performed by RTUS or PSCS okay we go one by one what is the hardware architecture the generic SCADA system can be classified into two parts 
which is the client layer and data server layer. The client layer layer which uh, set us for the main machine interface. The data server layer which is the data server layer um, which handle most of the process data activities which the SCADA, uh, SCADA station refer to the server and its uh, components of the single PC and it's easier to the data server communicate with the device in the field through the process control like a PLCS or RTUS. The software architecture is uh, most of the server use used for multi-tasking and real-time database. The server are responsible for data gathering and handling. The SCADA system consists uh, of a software program to provide the trending diagnostic data and manage information such as schedule maintenance procedures uh, and also logis logi logistic uh, information detail uh, for the normally for the particular sensor or machines and export system and troubleshoot uh, guides this means uh, the operator can see presentation of the plants begin the control. For example, uh, alarm checking, uh, calculations, logging, and polling controls on the set parameters. Those are typically connected to the server. The continuous slide about the SCADA system. There are different types of SCADA system that can be considered as a SCADA architecture of four different generations. The first generation is monolithic or earlier SCADA system. The second generation is distributed SCADA system. The third generation is network SCADA system and fourth generation is Internet of Things Technology SCADA system. Just go one by one. First generation which is the monolithic or earlier SCADA system means uh, it's for mini computer user so earlier for computing the SCADA system in the earlier times during the times time of first generation monolithic SCADA system were developed wherein the common network service were not available. And these are independent system without having any connective to other system. And also all the remote uh, terminal unit sites will connect to a breakup mainframe system for achieving the first generation SCADA system which was used in case of failure of the primary, primary mainframe system. Continue is second generation which is the di distributed SCADA system. In the second generation the share sharing of the control function is distributed across the multiply system connect to each other using local area network which means LAN hence this were terminate as distributed dis SCADA system those individual stations were used to share real-time information and common processing for performing control tasks to trip the alarm level of possible problem and also they are the cost and size of the station were reduced compared to the first generation system as each system of the second generation was responsible for performing a particular task with reduced size and cost but even in the second generation system and also the network protocol were not standardized the continuity is the third generation which is the network SCADA system 
The current SCADA systems are generally networked and communicate using wide area network, which is the WAN, systems over data lines of phones. Those, those systems use internet or fiber optic connections for transmitting that data between the nodes frequently. The third generation SCADA system use programmably logic controls, which means it's PLC for monitoring and uh, adjust the routine uh, flagging operation only in case of major decision requirements. Also, the first and second generation uh, SCADA system are limited to single site networks or single building called as sealed system. In in those system, we cannot have any risk compared to the third generation SCADA system, which are connected to the internet causes causing the security risk. They will be, they will be server uh, parallel working distribute SCADA system under a single super supervisor in network architecture. The fourth generation is Internet of Things technology in SCADA system. Uh, in fourth generation, the infrastructure cost of the SCADA system is reduced by updating the Internet of Things technology with the commercially available call, uh, computing. The maintenance and integration is also very easy for fourth generation compared to the earlier SCADA system. And those SCADA systems available to report state in real time by using the horizontal SCAD from the uh, computing facility, those more complex control algorithms can be implemented which are practically to implement on traditional PLCS. The security risk in case of decentralized SCADA implementations such a heterogeneous mix of proprietary network protocol and can be supposed using the open network protocol such as TLCS in the Internet of Things, which will provide comparable and manageable security boundary. The next slide about the application of SCADA. In the application of the SCADA, SCADA system are used for monitoring a variety of data like flows, currently uh, voltages, pressures, temperatures, water level, and etc. In variation industries, if the system did any abnormal condition from any monitoring data, the, then the alarm at the central uh, remote sites will to trigger it for al alerting the operation through HMI. Power system can be defined as constitute of power generation. Uh, transfer, transformation and distribution. All those sectors are need to need to monitor regular for improving the system uh, efficiency. Those those the application of SCADA in power system improve the overall efficiency of the system by providing the supervision and control over the generation transformation and distribution system. SCADA in the power system network increase the system reliability and stability for integrate grid operations. And continually we are going to see the SCADA security issue. Specific types of threats to SCADA network issue into four categories. The first one is malware, the third one is terrorist, and the fourth one is insider error. Internal malicious individuals or groups that are intent or gaining access to key components in SCADA network. Those anchors, uh, hackers 
could also be part of government plan has a type of cyber warfare who involve viruses and other programs not necessarily targeting SCADA network while the, they may not be specifically targeting those networks Melvin still posts to the operation of key infrastructure the third one is strategies hankers may want want to access for molecular intern but they typically motivate by sordid gain. Terrorists are typically divine to cause as much damage as possible to critical system of particular service. The final one is intersider error which is workers are a common causes of SCADA network issues anti internationally due to internal work issue or more commonly operator error the most issue in the category are due to poor training or carelessness now we come back to our topic the five pictures of the canvas skyda plus exploitation pack which is the growing value 350 export currently trying to cover most of the public SCADA vulnerabilities uh, zero day for SCADA focus on industry software and hardware environment and finally we have a weak points analysis just go one by one the features the first one is growing value which is 350 explodes currently due to low real system punch rank export are uh, actual for a longer time the second feature is that to cover most of the public SCADA vulnerabilities including all old and newly discovered bugs the third feature is zero day for SCADA the SCADA plus pack speaks to this new trend by providing its customer which exploit for both public vulnerabilities and zero day vulnerabilities in SCADA system the fourth one is focus on industrial software and hardware environment which is not SCADA but all industrial pieces smart clips and industrial protocol are received the final one is weak point analysis which is many industrial things suffer from weak weaknesses like hard coded password and etc okay next slide about the frequency updated this one is latest updated about the SCADA plus exploitation pack in this year 2020 February 29 version 1.99 SCADA pack things are things board 2.4.1 remote code execute one day Missy Bish Electronic Smart RTU I N E A M E R T U unauthorized unauthorized free current configuration downloaded and finally in touch HMI version 8.1 mobile access path and we almost done for today um, if I have any question or any inquiry regarding this product you may drop an email at eSpin uh, which is info at eSpinCorp.com so we will answer based on the requirements